just took a shower it felt amazing i'm literally not wearing anything but this is perfect because it just cuts me off right at the right place so we have lots and lots of luggage because this is a two-week trip and as you can see we just kind of ambushed the area because we just came in and we're like let's just unpack and get showered but this is our beautiful view we are in lake como from where my best friend's wedding what i'll do is get a clorox wipe and wipe down my glasses which i wore on the flight and then also our cell phones and for anyone that has a phone charm remember to wash your phone charms too this imagine just it's touching so many things so now i'm going to unpack all this to find space for everything hopefully i just wanted to show you guys all the things that we packed so i personally checked in two check-in bags and one or two carry-on for this trip the two-week trip so we have our counter-attack immunity supplement and then ritual vitamins eight greens my sakara detox water chlorophyll drops and then just a bunch of immunity support packs. This is all we had at home, so I literally brought everything. So we just make sure to take these every single day. Really important while we're out here. I've essentially made the hallway my little closet area. I didn't, honestly, I didn't even realize how many pairs of shoes I had packed for this trip. But, you know, I have a lot of looks. And I just want to make sure I have the right shoes. Bought some hats and then all my clothes. I'm kind of just like sifted out what I'm going to wear for Lake Como. And then I'm just going to leave this open just in case. My many, many sunglasses. Some of my camera equipment. And then we just basically split this up into... This is like Kellen's side of the closet. Okay. There we go. It's Kellen's side. And then this is my side. I pulled out what I want to potentially wear here in Lake Como. I have my jewelry, my night clothes, etc. over here. And then we are moving on to my skincare, which is just a whole another situation by itself. But you know, I love my skincare. I need my skincare. So I have my night routine and my morning routine here. So this is the gang's all here. And then of course over here, over here I have, you know, just like my hair things that I've brought with me. Like sincerely, I did not know how to pack light. Also, I was like, you know what? We can just check in bags. I don't have to pack light. And also we brought like a bunch of suitcases just because, you know, just in case we go shopping, just in case we buy things for people I wanted extra luggage. These stripes remind me of Sephora. I feel like I'm, I'm in Sephora. So I'm so sleepy right now. Basically, like, I just, I don't know why I couldn't really fall asleep. So we basically slept like three hours, which is so little for me. I am so out of it. When we were um, getting on our car right here to the hotel, I knocked out so hard in the car. And then we like went over a bump and I thought we were on the freaking airplane. And I thought we had just landed. And I was so confused when I woke up because we were in a car. So that's how out of it I am. We're just trying to power through. I think it's like 4 p.m. right now. But in LA, we basically stayed up the entire night with the exception of three hours. So we're trying to get on this time frame. So we're trying to stay up right now. And it's just, it's hard. Hello everybody. We're <laughs> this is how we feel right now. Literally everything is so warm. We're at dinner. We did not sleep and we we're so exhausted. I can barely keep my eyes open right now. We're just waiting for the food. We're gonna eat and then I just immediately go to bed. I literally can't keep my eyes open. What? <laughs> That's my hardworking man out there. He always says he still has to work, so he's just taking calls outside. He literally just got new transition glasses. Look at this guy. <laughs> like, let me show you guys our deck because it is definitely the nicest part of our room. So we have this outdoor area, which is a beautiful view of the lake. 
and then it basically just wraps around so this is our view very beautiful very peaceful and the weather is actually really nice here i thought it was going to be like a lot hotter and a lot more humid it's actually really perfect and then it just it just wraps around this freaking terrace is huge we're gonna work out right here we're gonna do our nike workout and then i brought resistance bands and of course my my nike shoes Milan. I'm sorry. Run it back. Run it back. Good morning. We are in Lake Como. We are here for one of my best friends, Heidi's wedding. I'm sorry, I just went up the stairs. I'm super, super winded. Today for the day, we are heading to Milan, which is an hour away. And then we're going to come back and then we have a welcome dinner at um, a place called Bellagio. In Lake Como, finally feeling like myself today. I feel like I've caught up on my sleep, got adjusted to the time switch. Okay, so I'm wearing this dress, which is very cute, but very long. Let me show you. It's giving me maternity vibes, which is just, I'm not there yet, you know? So I am going to cut it right now. I just asked for a pair of scissors downstairs. Um, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna go at it. It's gonna be a raw hem dress now. I'm gonna mark it and do it. I'm gonna get my costume skills coming in handy. I love it. We're going in, guys. I cut it a little shorter than I expected, but I actually still really love it. Look how much cuter this is. Am I right? I mean, it's a little bit short. It's just right, my booty is just right there. But so much cuter. We're walking around Milan right now. It is so beautiful. We're so happy we came here. We love this city vibe. And change. Mikhail actually ran out to get a haircut, which it looks so good. He is looking so fresh. And you know what else he did was he got his brows threaded, which is like <laughs> it, this all happened in Italian, mind you. But it looks so good. Oh my god, he cleaned up his brows like insane. That's this is very satisfying for me. Have a little break in the room right now. Brought my boom chicka pop. I'm gonna have to recharge because the wedding activities are going to start soon, so I gotta get into social mode. I feel like I used to be like super introverted, and then now I'm an ambivert. If you guys are an ambivert, you know what that is. Basically, when you need to be, when you're social, you can turn it on. So if the setting calls for, I can turn it on. I can be super social. But moment I come back. I just need to like decompress. 
and just be alone and just not talk and recharge. have to show up at I think 10 30 and the wedding starts at 5. I just realized I have patients in the room so it's an after party really quick and then we're gonna go to bed. Let's taste it. Oh you mm. Mm. Bang. 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 Buongiorno! We are driving. Buongiorno! Oh, gracias! Buongiorno. We are driving right now to Tuscany. Last night was the wedding and when I tell you it was a movie, it was the most beautiful wedding I've ever been to. There was so much love and Heidi is one of my dearest and best friends and I was just like so happy for her. I'm still so happy for them. Yeah, it was the greatest like celebration of their love and we were with all our friends. And now we are done with all the wedding festivities and we are driving from Lake Como to Tuscany right now. So we decided to rent a car and this may look familiar because we literally rented a similar version to the car that we have at home. This is the Audi what? SQ8. SQ8 and really we were like we had a bunch of bunch of car options and we're so happy that we went with this one just because we're in a foreign place so it's so good to be in a familiar car. So right now it's a four hour drive there. We've already driven for one hour. And, and if anyone ever wants to do this, I think it's a great idea. Driving from Lake Como to Tuscany even though we're just an hour into the drive. Um, we just stopped by a random little outskirt town of Milan to go tinkle. We have our snacks, we have all our luggage. And this is the um, thing we opted for because we didn't want to get on another plane or use a car because we have to wear a mask. So it's just nice to spend time with each other, chill. It's so odd because since we're in our car, everything looks exactly the same. And when we're on the freeway, everything looks exactly the same, so it's a trip. But. Um, there's a bunch of toll roads, so if you do do this, make sure that you do have a credit card on deck because literally I feel like we've been through five already and there's like 15 more toll roads. I specifically brought snacks from home because I knew we had this long ass car ride. So I have so many snacks back there, these are the ones that we're eating right now. We 
just noticed where we're sitting, there's this building that is totally leaning over. We finally made it to the Rosewood in Tuscany and they greeted us with this super cute little picnic basket of fruits. Fruits are the way to my heart. So it is dark outside so I'll show you guys them tomorrow but it is stunning like literally one of the most beautiful places I've ever been at. These fruits are literally so delicious. We need a fruit cam. We're literally walking around and we're like wow Willow would love this grass. This place is so stunning. It looks like a little village. Oh my gosh. Kellen had the privacy please sign wrapped on his wrist. I was like, why are you taking this? And he was like, do you want to get in the room? And I was like, what are you talking about? And he was like, this is the room key. I'm like, no, this is the privacy please sign. Now we're locked out of our room. <laughs> Show me the key, please. That's part of his outfit. Look, he had, on a, he had this on his wrist. So that's a no privacy, please. Oh my goodness, we're never leaving. We have this beautiful outdoor area. Why are we eating inside? Because there's too many bugs. I'm literally getting eaten alive here. Look at my arms. Literally bit my hand, my arm, and my finger. It's like, bro, relax. And we are eating lunch inside in our cute little corner here. So we just got back from the outlets eating lunch. And then both of us are going to dive into work because it is work time back in... LA and New York. I got this ravioli. So much pasta here. Everything has been so delicious. And you don't feel bloated or anything. I got spinach and ricotta ravioli with sage sauce. On property all day long because both of us are so behind on working emails because the past couple of days has been a whirlwind just because we're here for the wedding so we are pretty wrapped up every single day okay but then now you guys like that though okay but now we have time to ourselves which it was a big catch-up day um both of us have to do a good amount of work every day while we're here so we literally made a joint calendar schedule writing in when he has to be on call he needs to help me shoot etc this is the outfit that i'm wearing out it's literally long black pants just like this black bra top from joe brown this i got from i forget the brand but i got on the nordstrom anniversary sale this is a frankie's blazer the bugs here are so vicious last night we woke up at 4 a.m because they were literally freaking biting us so we were trying to kill this mosquito <laughs> so that's that i put on a lot of repellent but i'm almost out this is a bite crime crime this is a bite cream that i've been using Callan found it on amazon and it does not have date it's actually for kids um so it has just like a very kind of like I don't know how to describe it, like a menthol, very strong aromatherapy kind of scent to it, but it's like a good cream and it's good for um, bug repelling. And then also if you get bite, if you get bitten, it's good to just calm it down as well. That's yummy because usually I don't like this dish, but this is so yummy here. That's the look she makes when she's about to eat half my food. Look at her trying to catch that light. Trying to catch that light reflection. Devoured it. Devoured it. You guys, this is about three course life. I am so stuffed, but I'm also so excited for this. 
am so full. <laughs> we ate everything so clean. We devoured that. 1048. I feel like culturally, just everyone eats so much later here. Because back home, best believe, we're already in bed. Deep in bed. We are going to dinner right now. And, you know, I wish I really did just get this dropped up for dinner, but I did not. I'm shooting a campaign and it is for a fragrance and it's a night out. So we're going to dinner right now. I have to shoot some content there. I'm real, real cute though. Back at this restaurant, second night in a row, and this is so good. It's so simple, but it's basically meringue whipped cream, and like their fruits are heavenly. And then we got tiramisu. I usually don't like tiramisu, but this one's really yummy. To give us an action shot. I like the presentation of this one much better. He got the assignment. Food has been so incredible here. Mm -hmm. The ingredients are so fresh and like we've been saying we're pretty much essentially eating pasta and like pastries for every meal and we don't feel like bloated or we don't feel the aftermath of it which is usually the case when we eat pasta at home. I feel like literally shit after. This is what shooting a campaign from the waist up looks like. Shooting one thing makes the restroom so messy. I wish I'd show you guys actually how clean this restroom was. This is actually really clean. Also, I need this light. This restroom is so beautiful. So we are staying at the Rosewood here in Tuscany. And the Rosewood is one of our favorite hotel chains. There's one in Montecito. And then there's one in Bermuda. So we know this is our third Rosewood we've been to. And we love it. Just look at the detail of this entire place. And Ferragamo owns this hotel. So every... All the toiletries has the branding. But you know what I really like is next to the restroom vanity here, or they have these little shelves and that's where I've been putting my toiletries and it's such a mood. I just shot, so that's all over there. I mean, that's kind of an example of what it would look like, but I really want that for our home. And this is the massive, massive shower, which, I mean, just this lighting is everything. So yes, I'm thoroughly obsessed with this hotel and this restroom. I mean, let me see if I can, ooh, and also they have such good closet space in here, which is a big thing for us. So that is the entrance right there. And then just walk into our bedroom. Very cute, it's like Tuscan italian vibes it's really really homey again the bed is crazy insane just because i had a shoot and i was just real quick quick they have this shop here on property and this is a cute little staircase and look at this i want this it's little lit bag inserts <laughs> <laughs> right now guys last night i just got like literally eaten alive i got three bug bites on my hands so we're on a mission today once we eat breakfast we're gonna head over to friends and then we're going to the outlets and then on the way there we're gonna do a bug haul okay i need what is it bug repellent and post it's really intense here. Other than that, we had a really good night of rest. Yeah, and Sisters and Seekers sent me this jacket. They literally shipped it to Italy because I wasn't, we left LA uh, before they shipped it out. And it's super clutch. Great morning, morning jacket. They really were clutch with the delivery. Yeah, it's really nice. 
right now it's almost 6 p.m and we are both just working right now because back home in la it is prime working time so i've been kind of matching our mornings and afternoons in cadence with that and honestly i just like appreciate this pace so much that it's six o'clock i have no makeup on i'm chilling not chilling but i'm still working but i don't have to get ready or anything today um and because i feel like now that we're finally done with all the wedding festivities like we just have time to ourselves to really just like relax and move at our own pace which has been so nice but the wedding was so beautiful it was literally the most beautiful wedding i've ever been to heidi looked like an absolute princess and i'm just so happy for her like nick which is her now husband is amazing his family is amazing her family is amazing like it was just so beautiful such a weekend like filled with so many emotions and love um but yeah so now we are in tuscany and then we are taking it pretty chill for the next couple of days we leave tomorrow so today we're gonna sleep early just because it's another five hour drive and literally kellen's been driving and really appreciate the fact that he is driving because navigating traffic traffic laws new roads in a new country is pretty confusing at least to me but he's been a great driver just navigating us through it um yeah and tomorrow we make our way to Ravello and then we are spending a day in Amalfi getting a boat to Capri oh the angle's doing nobody favors we're venturing off property for dinner right now and it is literally just a forest to get in here good thing Kellen's a good driver and also we have we're in a car that we know it's we are going to <laughs> Montalcino, which is a town that's 20 minutes out from the Rosewood here in Tuscany. So that's where we'll be. So this is three different types of pecorino cheese, pecorino cheese with three different types of honey. We came to this restaurant in this small town called Montalcino. So quaint, literally a little town. Tuscany today. So shoddy outside. We are out. We are headed out to Ferenz right now. And we are gonna go shopping because they have these designer outlets. So it's two miles out because it's just outside of Florence. So we are headed there right now. And yesterday night when I was like sleeping, I basically slept with like the blankets up to here, but I like left my arms out. Like if you guys are ever going to come to Tuscany, know that there are bugs, not just mosquitoes, but spiders, gnats that will eat you alive. So make sure you bring bug repellent post bug bite. And I feel like honestly, if you can travel with a citronella candle or anything that you can light that like, I mean, I just didn't know there was gonna be that many bugs here, but if you get, my bugs and me and bring three times the amount you think you need oh and also just bring a lot i mean i brought bug repellent but we were like with the bridal party before and like the girls hadn't packed it so of course we were just all sharing mine but now i'm out <laughs> so we were buying more today so this is the entrance to our property it's just lined with these Italian cypresses and the day that we drove in it was gloomy so it's a different vibe so, but today is beautiful blue skies. Mm -hmm. 